Why should we pray around the midnight hours? Acts 16 verse 25 to 26 says, About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there was such a violent earthquake that the foundation of the prison were shaking. At once, all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chain came loose. The world is full of so many people living in satanic bondage. Many of us and our families are unknowingly struggling with satanic yokes around our necks. There are millions of people walking on the streets with their hands and legs bound in the spirit by a powerful satanic force and they are not even aware of it. Midnight prayer is the most powerful time to pray for breaking satanic bondage and limitations. No matter the struggles and how difficult the bondage of the enemy over your life, I'm here to let you know the enemy cannot resist a praying Christian, especially at the midnight hours. The devil knows this very well, and that is the reason why he will do everything to discourage you from getting up during the midnight hours to pray. In Luke 6 verse 12, the Bible says, Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. Praying during the midnight hours brings many benefits to a believer in Jesus Christ. There is many wickedness that takes place during the hours of 12 a.m. and 3 a.m. While you are sleeping, the body is naturally weak. This weakness makes you vulnerable to spiritual attacks or manipulation. In math, the power of midnight prayer will remove all deposits that God did not deposit in you. Praying during the midnight hour is so powerful that the devil and his agent cannot stand it. This is the reason why Paul and Silas prayed at midnight. And because God freed Paul and Silas at midnight when they were praying, that's an indication of the power in the midnight prayer. Midnight prayer strengthens our faith. For I can do everything to Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4 verse 13. Midnight prayer gives us an upper hand in spiritual warfare battle. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a warring lion seeking whom he may devour. Midnight prayer brings supernatural encounters with God through the Holy Spirit and his angels. Joel 2 verse 28 says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pull out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see vision. Midnight prayer is a perfect time to hear warnings from God without distractions. Job 33 verse 14 through 18 says, For God does speak, now one way, now another, though no one perceives it in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls on people as they slumber in their beds, he may speak in their ears and terrify them with warnings, to turn them from wrongdoing and keep them from pride, to preserve them from the pit, their lives from perishing by the sword. So my friend, I urge you to put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's scheme. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Midnight prayer is a battlefield between believers and the devil. These battles are organized by witchcraft powers, marine powers, household powers, strongmen's and witch doctors. Many dangerous things are crawling, moving, and flying at the midnight hours. But I'm here to tell you, the Bible says in Psalm 91 verse 5, You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Let us pray. Psalm 59, Deliver me from my enemies, O God. Be my fortress against those who are attacking me. Deliver me from evildoers, and save me from those who are after my blood.
See how they lie in wait for me. Fierce men conspire against me, for no offense or sin of mine, Lord. I have done no wrong, yet they are ready to attack me. Arise to help me, look on my plight. You, Lord God Almighty, you who are the God of Israel, rise yourself to punish all the nations. Show no mercy to wicked traitors. They return at evening, snarling like dogs, and prowl about the city. See what they spew from their mouths. The words from their lips are sharp as swords. And they think, who can hear us? But you laugh at them, Lord. You scoff at all the nations. You are my strength. I watch for you. You God are my fortress, my God to whom I can rely. God will go before me and will let me gloat over those who slander me. But do not kill them, Lord, our shield, for my people will forget. In your might, uproot them and bring them down. For the sins of their mouths, for the words of their lips, let them be caught in their pride, for the curses and lies they utter. Consume them in your wrath. Consume them till they are no more. Then it will be known to the ends of the earth that God rules over Jacob. They'll return at evening, snarling like dogs, and prowl about the city. They'll wander about for food, and howl if not satisfied. But I will sing of your strength. In the morning I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in time of trouble. You are my strength. I sing praise to you, you God are my fortress, my God on whom I can rely. Amen.